not used to the short intros. Still not. All right. Hmm. There we go. Hey, welcome to Goof On, everybody. What is it? The 30th? One more day and it's Ole. Welcome to Goof On. It's March 30th, 2024. And I just ran out of these eye drops. Ow! Poke myself in the eye trying to get a drop out of it. <laughs> I have another one in the car. Uh, we're gonna talk tonight. We're gonna we're gonna speak. We're gonna hear. We're gonna look at you. Not me tonight. That's why I'm wearing this. Because I'm not going to be the star of tonight's show. I don't want to do it ever again, but that's why I'm here for you. Because you can do this for us. For me. For the Goofonians. Let me see. This is why I don't wear t-shirts on the show. Nothing looks good. Mwah! I love you people. Let's go. So uh, I want you guys, when you come on, to just, y you know, be yourself, keep your clothes on, and uh, I have one rule. I, if I don't know you, you won't, you can come on the show, but uh, I want to see you. Yeah. If I don't know you, I want to see you before you come on the show. Then you, you know, you when you appear, when you come on, you're not automatically on the show when you click the link. You go into the green room where I can see you. So the little screen that I see when you guys come on, nobody else sees it. I want to see you before you come on the show. I hear a beep and then I go, oh, oh, okay, it's Dorothy. Beep. Oh, it's Amy. Beep. Oh, now if it goes beep and I just see this. I ain't going to let you on until I see a face. Then you can turn it off and you can be this again. All right. So if you want to be this, you can. And then once you hear me announcing your name, you could close it off if you want. Okay? Deal? All right. I need to see who you are before you come on the show. That's just the way it is. Because I am not going to have people unclothing themselves like uh, the schmuck puck did the last time we did one of these shows. Just takes his shirt off and we got to look at the skeleton. Did you see that disgusting body. I, I, he looked like a homeless per. Uh, no, no. He looked like homeless people look better than what Puck looked like. He just looked like a, a dead person. Is he dying? Is he? Yeah. He looked like he was dying. I had to turn off that, uh, that camera on him. I almost threw up on the show. Who does that anyway? Well, we know who. White trash Puck. <laughs> That's who does stuff like that. Only Puck would do that. Bob Birkins is different than Puck because Bob at least has some class. Bob understands. He doesn't look like a Skeletor. Can't have Skeletors coming on here unless... You got a good story. Uh, but that was disgusting. I, I have never seen a body look like that since the Holocaust. I'm not joking. That's that's true. So uh, be careful when you come on. If I don't see your face, just stay away from this face. I got to have the rules. Got to have rules. Without rules, there's just what we saw on Amy's show. When she had people coming on, they wouldn't show who they were. They were trolling her. 
Yeah, they're like, oh, no, I'll show you, I'll show you. This is what we don't want. Yeah. Amy's very, very nice, and people were trashing her. Here. The guy said he was a skinwalker, I think, right? Isn't this the one? A man, a human? I don't know. It might have been a skinwalker. I'm not sure. <laughs> you think you saw a skinwalker? That's pretty See cool. how you can't see the face? Like. See what I mean? Your mother's monkey. You can't. See, it's just that I I don't like that. I don't I don't know. It had it, it had <laughs> no no it didn't have that. It had like three legs. Wow, thirty? Yes. Wait, thirty? No, 30 three legs? legs. Three legs. Three legs. Oh, I think so. Yeah. I mean, we know what you guys are doing. Like, we stop pretending like we don't know yeah. that this didn't yeah, happen. Yeah, my, my bad, my bad. It's Can very you, like, obvious. Just... It's very obvious. It's, yeah, it's yeah, insulting yeah, yeah. to those yeah, who have yeah. When you won't show it, your face, another, or let right someone back. else show your face. You're cooler than showing your face. You're smarter and cooler than all of us, so you can't show your face. Can you make me a right. I'm getting tired. Troll, troll, lying about a. want to do that on this show you'll get your ass handed to you anyway we don't want any of that nonsense do a quick roll call see who's here and then i'll drop the link in the old chit chat room shumanati is here what do you say shumanati one of the best names ever invented buzz b welcome to the show oh hey shumanati welcome peter mcleese Oh yeah, that's right. I, that's right. It's a uh, yeah. There's Super Mario. It's a Japanese version, though. You know, David Wilcox, not Wilcox. Welcome to the show, Raging Against Machine. Met all head. Met all head. Met all head. What's up, Chief? Light sky. Light the uh like this guy uh, or girl i i do enjoy the uh the, the 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 profile pic here you got the icon yeah i like this one we're gonna watch out we're gonna check light sky derek faulkner oh by the way light sky welcome to the show derek faulkner what do you say to it chief welcome to Marcel Goofoni and my tall head. Welcome to the show. Stephen Carn, everybody. What are you doing? How you doing, man? Good to see you. Finally. Hope your year's going good. What do you say? Fog on leg on there. Welcome to the show. Is that Ray Clay too? It is! What do you say, Ray Clay? Are you the opossum? It's just fartburn. It'll go away. Heartburn. Brian Yates, everybody. What's up, B? And Andy Cowley. What is up? How you doing? Welcome to the show. Hey, Chelsea Reese. How you doing? I do the round table the last Saturday of every month. That's it. I would like to do it every other Saturday, and we may go that route. Actually, I'm probably going to change it to Friday because I'm not going to be doing goof on on the weekends anymore. Hey, and for tomorrow, it's Easter. There will be a show, but for the... Uh, members but it'll be different you'll see tomorrow at 3 p.m hey you know i was thinking about doing a later show for you guys for the members you know um because it is easter i'll be home by seven we can do a live show at seven for the members i think i'm gonna do that tomorrow think that's what I'll do live at seven tomorrow yeah all right that's what we're doing tomorrow night I'm excited actually 
Yeah, members only. Uh, every Sunday we do members only live shows, in case you were wondering, Chelsea. Hey, Brian. Stephen Karn. Wait a second. Hold on. Because Bernie Miro threw his down six minutes earlier. Hey, Bernie, I don't know why yours didn't roll up on the screen, but it was archived by StreamYard. So thank you for the $10 super dono. It's a super chat, folks, but we call them donos when there's no message or an icon or emoji or anything because it's a doe nation with no, you know, it's a dono. It's pure love is what it means. Thank you, Bernie Miro throwing down the L-O-V-E. Thanks, man. Way to start off the show. You too can also help support Goof On. Uh... And of course, you know, I know times are tough, but uh, every little bit ha helps. So if you see the links in the show description and you want to throw a few bucks towards Truthology for Ufology, put boots on the ground, get us out there rolling. You know what to do. And Stephen Karn with a $2, hey brother, we'll consider that a super dono, although I won't, but I know you, you mean it. And I know you love me. Thank you, Stephen Karn. Uh, thank you. I don't know what I, you know why I said take it because I saw this take baking soda. I was thinking, thank you, Stephen Carn, with the two pound, two quid. Hey brother, super duper continuing supporter of Goofon and Busby throwing down a one month. Thank you very much. And take, yeah, I don't have any baking soda. So, but I do know it works. My mother does that. And she says, Richie, it works, and I know it tastes like salt water, but it's good. It would help you out. So I'll, I'm all right, but I will have to get it. Thank you for being a member, Busby. Everybody, you got, you got a nice haircut there. All right. If I didn't say your name, it does not mean I don't love you, time surfing alien. Welcome to the show, Jeanette. Don't worry, I didn't forget you. Welcome to the show. Dark Room UFO, Eyes Only Gaming. Let's get the shindig started. Shall we? So, we're here tonight to talk. You are. I don't want to do much. Uh, you know, I almost canceled the show 45 minutes ago. I wasn't feeling good. I laid down. I, I Look. I don't know how it happened, how I got here and got the energy, but a 20 minute nap actually helped. We'll try to go the normal length tonight until the top of seven o'clock, but I don't know how I'm going to feel. So we'll do an hour minimum, an hour and a half max. So uh, let's get this going here. We'll start off warming you up. I know you're dying to talk, but let's just, let's set the stage for what we want to talk about because there's a lot of stuff people are saying right now and a lot of people seem to be confused so we hear a lot of from everybody talking about the uh, unknown the ufos and even now there is supposed video evidence that the aliens were recorded in Las Vegas last year. And I want to show you the clip because I want to start off with this silliness. Because what happened in Vegas should stay there. I think what's going on, people just can't let go. They can't let it go. Oh, I'm pulling it up. Oh, that was Amy. Where? What is going on? I've never seen this happen before. So I delete something, right? Now the next tab, if uh, I'll show you. This is crazy. I don't know if it'll work. Let me see if you can see what I see here. Let me see if you can see what I see. Okay. See this here? 
I am now on a t Twitter tab. You see it? See up top? See this? See this? This is not Amy's clip. But watch. Now watch up here. It ought to, I don't understand what's going on. Oh, I realized it. Never mind. I realize now. It's a link in the Twitter. Okay, I thought it was opening up a Twitter on YouTube. And it did, but it didn't. But it did. All right, that's not what I wanted to show you. So UFO Shane, we'll talk about this too. The mummies, still want to talk about that. And I will find that clip. What, what the f Hold on, I'm going to find it fast. Video, true, UF female, red, fa, fu, fi, fa. Where is... Here it is. Jesus, I have so much stuff. Here it is. So there's a guy named uh, Jim Quirk, I believe, and he's got this show and he talks about UFOs and stuff. But apparently he's got this video that's been going around and I I'm just using him because it's easy to find. I think Dorothy sent me this clip. Yeah, thank you, Dorothy. And uh, well, it's almost a year ago. It happened last May. That's when we found out about it. May 30th, I believe. It was right a week before, a day before Grush came out on News Nation. Check this out. So they're saying the, the well, just watch. And, uh, like anything from Earth that we know of. Um, and they were flying in a, in a craft that had the ability, apparently, to uh, cloak itself. Because as uh, Angel uh, reiterated again, this is again they're tripling down now with this story. That and and there's the story is pretty much the same. There was a couple of other things that I didn't know that I wasn't aware of before, like the the lights on the side of the heads of these creatures. Uh, maybe that's what paralyzed them, the temporarily the the oh. family members uh, when they went to investigate. Uh, and there's a lot of different things about this story, which I, I, I find fascinating. Um, for one thing, you know, the, the meteor, the, 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 that people, it looked like a meteor and, and, and NASA said it all oh, that that's a meteor there was the image the meteor. that was taken from the, uh, the body cam footage, uh, from the police officer the uh, just before, not, not long before not the media, uh, the, the, uh, the Ken Moore's contacted the police before Angel gave that famous 911, uh, call. So, so. Terrible. It's they, they, George Knapp is the problem with this whole story. You know that, right? George Knapp held on to this story for a month before it was put out on social media or anywhere. So KLAS in Vegas held on to this story for a month. So George Knapp decided to release it the day before News Nation came out with David Grush. It was a total play for views. That's how I know this is the biggest bullshit story. And then you see a video like I'm going to show you now that I think we should have all picked up on it the first time we saw it. Why we didn't? Well, I don't know. I'm going to go back and look at the original video and see, but here's what he has. Uh, approaching these uh, family members and then them getting out of there real quick. Okay. okay, so that video right there is the basis for what I think I was able to demonstrate that there's something there moving. And it's in between, it's to the right of the head of the older gentleman. Can you show me the where? Left of Angel, I believe, wearing the oh, red okay. hat. Okay. So play it one more time just to right, so we'll here we go. Uh, where we got the video from. Okay, here we go. Okay. Right there. So play it one more time. And, uh, and did, did you see it? <laughs> I know you didn't. Try to pause it when you see Angel's head and the other gentleman's head. Uh, 
and there's an open frame in there. No, okay. Then play it. Ahí le gallenga a la chorsi, jora. And right, keep going right there. Stop that. No. Okay. So right here, in between the red hat of Angel and the right ear what is going of on? the older gentleman, there is a black space. And in that black space, um, on this. Wait a second. This is different than what I saw. Why am I seeing a totally different video right now? This is, I'm freaking out. This isn't the video. Where's there? I think it's on this, this, this side. I don't know what he's talking about here. He's talking about in between here, but what we're going to look at is over here. This version. Okay. okay. So now here, what I've done, it, this video is uh, 2.4 seconds long. It's best played in a loop. Um, but wait, wait now, go to the next one and we'll save the loop for last. Okay. Oh my okay. God. Yeah. Go to listen. Go to the next one. Is, uh, hmm. And we can bring up the original to his left. And Angel was frozen for a second and then moved to the right, uh, almost in the reaction of just. Um. <laughs> You can see its eyes glowing, it looks like. Yeah. You can almost I'm, I'm fucking getting pissed off because this isn't the video I was looking at. God dang it. It was in the beginning of this video at the four minute mark. I even wrote notes and I can't find at it. At that point. <laughs> and it fully obscure the view. Now, mind you, this is. Oh my God, I'm raging right now. I'm really angry. Why can't I find that shit? Hold on. Go back to Dorothy's link. See why I'm making this mistake. Yeah, here it is. I'm looking at the video. I have it right here. Four minute mark, just like I said. So why... Is this different than what I've looked at? That is just, I'm freaking out. Here it is. Semi-transparent, and uh, but there's something there. Check this out. I have it on a loop. I'll play, I'll, I'll play it a few times so you could uh, see what I'm talking about. See it? See the eyes? One there. One here. The nose. But I want to show you something. Well, I want you to look through the fence as they're walking up. You'll see the shadow of the creature here as it walks up. Watch. There. Did you see the shadow come up? Watch. Weird, right? So my thing is, why didn't we see this in the beginning? Why didn't we see this? I would have noticed that shadow. I remember looking through here and... Uh, and remember when that one guy said it looked like there was a creature behind here and it looked like a maybe a dog's tail or a hand came through, fingers. You see, I'm not sure what we're looking at is the original, the real deal, or edited. Because this I would have seen. Pussy. Not light. I know what you're saying, light shadow, but it's not. It's not from anybody's light. Not even close to anybody's light. And you can also see it up here. So what is that? You mean to tell me this alien can be that cloak just like that? Now, as I continue to play this, I just want to... And nobody hears anything on the rocks. You can hear all them walking. But the reason I don't think it's fake is because of what happens behind the fence. You can see the thing walk up, and it stops abruptly. You would think you would hear the rocks 
sliding with the feet as it stops, but it's an entity of some sort. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But it's bizarre. I'm going to read the email that I received today from, from Julia, and she says, Hi, Jim. This was my original analysis I posted to Reddit. Ironically, people couldn't even see the figure, and it went mostly unnoticed. Images are attached toward the bottom as well as the link to it. About a quarter through the video, a peculiar dark mass enters the frame above the fence and retreats quickly. It happened very fast, but I took notice immediately. You could even see the head of the alien on the ground over here, the shadow of it. I thought it was this guy or guy over here, but watch on the ground over here. From from Julia and she that was says, the Hi, Jim, this was my original analysis I watch. posted to Reddit. Ironically, right people couldn't even see the figure watch. and it went mostly unnoticed. Images are attached right toward there. the bottom as well as the link to it. About a quarter through the video, a peculiar dark mass. Right there, you could see it. It just went by. It's hard because this blacks out. You can see it right there, the shadow. Right there. Right there. Right there. Watch down here again. Forget that. Go to the bottom. Read the email that I received today from, from right Julia. There. And she says, hi, Jim. This was my... Because you can see the shadow approaching at the corner of your eye. And then you can see the head over here. Original analysis I posted to Reddit. Ironically, people couldn't even see the it's figure. It's real. It's it there. Whatever unnoticed. it is, it's there. Images are attached toward the bottom as well as the link to it. About a quarter through the video, a peculiar dark mass enters the frame. Yeah. Uh, maybe it was Angel. There he is right there. Frame above the fence and retreats quickly. It happened very fast, but I took no, note. It was an angel. That shadow moves. There's something there something there well let's get you guys on start talking before we run out of time i'm gonna drop the link in the chit chat room right now i'll pin it to the top of the uh the show room there and we've got a poll going be honest can you really communicate with aliens outside our solar system wow 64 percent say no 36% say yeah so far out of 67 votes. Keep voting. When we get to 100 votes, we'll end it. And uh, here's the link. And, uh, hold on. Let me type this in. Join your mother's YouTube I don't know why this happens sometimes. I'll be typing. And then it'll go open up another tab. Or something it'll start i don't know man it is just a lot of weird stuff that happens when i type maybe because i can't feel anything all right uh use this link to join the live stream control v enter in and there it is all right well we'll be uh waiting for you guys to load in and when you do make sure i can see you uh, what am i supposed to do now oh yeah put this in here there we go got the banners up all right i'm starting to slow down a little need a little energy can't believe we've been 30 minutes already. Tomorrow's Easter. Hope your uh, plans with family are going to be exciting. I hope that uh, you enjoy yourselves. Did you see this? In third phase of moonbeams? That's right, folks. Third phase of moon. Let's see. What do they got here? Check this out. They posted this on X. Another one of the... Their... Uh, books here, their cartoon book. 
Come on, there's room for more in here. At least one more of you. Get your ass in here. I don't care if you have to flip a coin. At least one of you can fit in here. Mr. President, we don't have time now. Just get in. It was a release being of the... Yeah, I can't read that. Now buckle up and hold on tight. You're going for a ride. We've been hit. Mayday. Mayday. Jettison the president. The president gets ejected. Trump goes down. The plane crashes. And disclosure ensues. Eggush. Yeah, they got that nice comic book out there. Battle for Disclosure comics available now. Don't miss out before they're all gone. 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 Check it out. Deet, 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 deet. There it is. Well, only eleven ninety nine. Pretty good. Ah, here's the next one. Number two came out. Wow, look at Trump's in there. Did Greer. Oh my God, look at this. I look at that alien straight in the sky. That's great. Wow. He can draw. He can draw, Brent. That is good stuff. Ah. <laughs> uh. That'll be a that'll be a cult classic, like classic Coke. I don't know what that means. I got a sighting while we're waiting for people to come on and speak their mind if they want. Here we go. We got a sighting. Fake. Oh yeah, I think I showed this one. I got to tell you, that's not real. It just can't be. The Nazca mummies are fake. The people saying they are real are idiots, says UFO Shane. They are obviously fake. What's, where is the worldwide news coverage, he asks. Where is anything public to show the people how real they are? It doesn't exist because they are being laughed at by the actual science community. Really? You don't think that anybody would want to be around those aliens? I don't understand what the problem is. They look so real for fake aliens. Strange, somebody here says, the long pig chief, chef, chief says, strange that 100% of the people who have examined them all believe them to be authentic, once living creatures. As a UFO enthusiast, I am surprised you don't know a blatant disinformation operation when you see it. Nobody believes the moomies, the doomies are real. I don't see why. Why? Let me ask you this. So let's say they're fake. They're fake. Um, as soon as an outside American source does a test on it publicly, well, you know what I mean. They're not going to do the test in front of us, but, you know, uh, when they come back that it's fake, that it's not real or it's manipulated or whatever. That 
will literally create two new realities. One of the realities is Jaime Mosan is never talked to again in the UFO community. People are so mad, they let it go. They don't ever talk to him. He doesn't exist. That's how bad it is, right? They're fake, and Jaime Mosan should be banned. And he is. Let's just say that happens. The other fork in the road, well, it doesn't do anything, but embolden, is it? Is that the right word? That Jaime Mosan said, this is the reason why we only have a third party, not a government looking at the aliens, right? He'll say that. These are real, my friend. That's what's going to happen. And then people are going to be like, they're covering it up. America's covering it up. They don't want disclosure. But yet, other people be like, I knew it was fake the whole time. They look fake. They look silly. They're holding them like this. This is. Have you seen pictures of them holding, taking pictures? You know, no gloves, no hats, hairy hands, uh, you know. If, if you meet an Italian grease all over your little alien, you know, why don't they do that? Stupido. That's why they're fake. You don't hold a real alien. Like, hey, look at this guy. This is the small one, my friends. This one right here. Oh, shit, the head. You know? Oh, this is it, my friend. This is it. Dude, shut the fuck up. Oh. This is a real alien chicken. It's not real. I'm telling you the truth. It's not real. It's very real. And you don't say a word. You got it? <gasps> what did I just say? What? It's the alien. Oh. No. Oh, Chicky. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. Oh, no. I know. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. Just shut up. Let me get it in there. Just stop moving. Let me put it in. I can't get it in there. Stop moving. It doesn't hurt. Stop. Let me just put the head in. Stop. Don't move. You're making it worse. It'll feel good once it gets in. Come on. Don't act like it's your first time. I have taken the head off you many times. Get in. Do we have any lubrication? Oh, I knew that always works. There we go. Nope. Why do you gotta be so difficult? Stop it. Stop. I can't get it in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Hey, look at all the people. Wow, we've got one, two, three, four, five people waiting. To come on and none of you are showing your faces so you can't come on can't come on we got to see your face you guys are tripping I'm going to show you the most amazing commercial ever seen on TV. It's a real commercial. This really happened. And a lot of people think it was faked, but it's not. This is the most incredible commercial for Nissan in the history of commercials. Seriously. For those who don't think it's real. This, I watched this. I remember when the, the actual thing happened. They had it live on TV. That 
is so amazing and it's real it's real this was on the news they showed it like a car chase you know that truck really did do that what an amazing and most dangerous thing you can imagine having what i don't understand is because it's real it really happened how did the truck survive that that's i mean you put 200 i'm sorry put 500 pounds of rocks in the back and the trucks you know like leaning back a little but a plane yeah something's wrong but it's real i don't get it it's like a miracle happened you know it's really strange i, I just don't understand but it, it really is real Hey, Scandral, Shibi Shenanigans, Dave Tedball, what's up, what's up? Yep, you can join the show with the pinned link as well. True Scary Sor- oh, oh, forget that, we'll come back to that. UFOs could actually be sent from a mothership, claims Pentagon scientist. Oh, uh, really? Oh, there's a sh- oh, yeah, 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 I love this channel. <laughs> this guy, uh, this guy, this guy. Check it out. In three, two, go, schmo. Official who heads up a secret of units studying unidentified flying objects has speculated that recent sightings in U. He speculated? Did he say speculated? A Pentagon official who heads up a secret of units studying unidentified flying objects has speculated that recent sightings in U.S. airspace could actually be I'll alien probes from a mothership sent to study Earth. A Pentagon official who heads up a secret of units studying unidentified flying objects has speculated that recent sightings in U.S. airspace could actually be alien probes from a mothership sent to study Earth. How stupid. It's so dumb. Like, that's not even a news story. Like, why did you even post that? Hey, everybody out there, I just want to let you know, though, you know those little discs that you see flying around all over the place? They come from a much bigger ship. Do you really think that little ship could travel interstellarly? No, it's got to have a big mothership with fuel, food, and fire. The three Fs you all need to survive. Fuel, fudge, and fire. I didn't want to say the F word. You want to see something cool? This is what I love about the, the, the internet. You ever notice the cameras that are, are at the intersections when you pull up to them? What are they actually taking a picture of or video? Well, check this out. This guy showed us. I never knew this and it's very interesting. Red light educational. Cameras like this at an intersection near you. you may believe those cameras are to catch you running red lights and to send you a ticket in the mail. Let's open up this traffic signal controller cabinet here and let me show you what they actually do. As you can see, these cameras are actually used for vehicle detection. As these vehicles pull up to the stop bar, these cameras will lock in a call for them to get the green light. You can see that this car out here is getting detected by these cameras and they are sitting on top of phase four. And as you can see, a call is held in on phase four and they will be getting the light next. Some of these cameras even have a radar attached to them. And as you can see, this is showing an alt sensor, which is that radar and is picking up advanced vehicle detection. See, these cameras are designed to make this intersection more efficient, which means you'll spend less time at red lights and more time moving on your daily commute. The world of traffic signals is unique and fascinating. Make sure to hit that follow. He's not telling us everything. I bet you there's a license plate detector on there too. And he just didn't show us. Oh, they can take a picture of your license plate. And what they do is they see if you have any war warrants out for your arrest. And then it'll call the cop sitting a mile down the road. They, they, they'll have that too. I've got to blow this Daz in a minute. All right, what's this? Because it we don't have anybody legitimately here yet. I'm going to I'm I'm just going to play videos that I think are interesting. 
Some of you probably will love them. Some of you will be like, hey, where's the UFO shit? Well, you're going to get that mixed in. Let me go blow my nose. Watch this. So-called intellectual, a lesson in language. You grew up in a black neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. were, I know you, you know somebody named Peter, right? Yeah. Right. You don't say, well, that's not your legal name. I'm, I'm, your mama named you Joe. I'm going to call no, you Joe. I, I, no, I'm saying if a name is one thing, but if you're asking me to change pronouns, I'm not going to do that because these are established pronouns. You're asking me to now change the English language, right? We know why we call female, she, her, girl, woman, okay? These are, these are words that have meaning. These words that have meaning. So if this is a book and uh, this is a mug, could you call this a book and call this a mug? Yes, you could do that if you want to change it, but words have meanings, right? So now if I switch it and you say, well, this mug wants to be called a book, it's a mug. It's just a mug. This, this is the word we've established for mugs. This is the word we've established for books. So you're asking me to change the actual meaning of words to accommodate you. I'm not going to do that. No. Now, if, uh, no. I'm not going to do that. It's not the request, though. That. It is. Because not only is it a request, you can now get in trouble no, in certain states I'm that's not for misgendering it. someone. The Candace Owens giving a so-called intellectual a lesson on language. You grew up in a black neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. were, I know you, you know somebody named Peter, right? Yeah. You're right. You don't say, well, yeah, that's not your legal. Sorry. I had to uh, readjust the uh, screen. It, it fell down. Yeah, Candace Owens throwing down some truth bombs. I know I don't even, didn't even need to watch it to know it it was true. All right. Um, the Nazca mummies, totally fake. People are saying I already went over that. Why am I having weird sound issue here? All right, this is good. The UFO conversation has moved away, from, I was saying this earlier, from technology and science into the fantasy realm of Harry Potter and Felix the Cat. This is what your favorite shows are saying about ufology. Those people are now saying good stuff. I think people, what has happened is everybody's frustrated and it just took a few years for people to understand the lie and how absurd things are getting. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't any weird phenomena going on. We all have strange phenomena in our life. If you're looking for it, you will find it. But just don't create it out of nothing. Okay? I've been guilty of it many times. I'll, I'll hear a noise and automatically put a ghost to it. Ah, it sounded like a ghost walking. No. Now, you got to be sure if you're going to say that stuff. I'm trying to get better at it. Um, but Dr. Greer says inside of the UFOs, it's a whole big universe in there. It's not exactly what you think you're going to see inside a 30-foot craft. How could a 100-yard football field fit in the size of a 30-foot disc? How could a big thing be in there how because it's all uh alternate adjustments to your reality visions there was another um maybe i can't remember if it was one or two of the whistleblowers that spoke about this they spoke about or maybe it was you talking about it but um when they got into the craft the inside of the craft seemed almost infinite Yep, that was that was one of my was representing a whistleblower who is not ready to be unmasked yet. He still doesn't want to be known publicly. But yes, I, because you have a dimensional space shift as well. So an object that looks 30 feet across, you go in and it was so big. You could if you thrown a football, you couldn't have hit the other side of it. Bullshit. There was another. Um... I find that to be the biggest bullshit lie in a long time. You know why I don't believe in any of that? Because it's physically impossible. The physics don't match up. And any person who's in physics knows that you cannot have that big of a space inside 30 feet. So it's either an illusion or you're being transformed to a place and you don't even know it. So what Greer is saying, although it sounds, oh, well, of course, it's aliens, they can do anything they want. They could grow limbs. Yeah, they can do it all. Live 900 years, just like Mo. Moses. Didn't Mo live to be 900? You know who else was 900 years old? Yo. Yoda.
Yoda was 900 years old. Do you see the parallels? Come on, people, wake up. Everything we're going through has already been written. Haven't you heard? Haven't you seen Star Wars? Star Trek? Stars and Night Vision, how you doing? <laughs> Yoga with Denise, how are you? Um... Oh, I already showed that. Oh, that's right. That was the uh, Hidden Underbelly. All right, let's get rid of that. Thank you, Hidden Underbelly, for, uh, you know, the, the uh, video. Dorothy giving that out, sending that to me. I appreciate that. It's not often I get to have stuff I could use. But this is a must. I Hey, I really appreciate the conversation we're all having tonight. Isn't this great? Left the Department of Defense, ironically enough, to finish the very mission they gave me in the first place. I didn't ask for it. I'm not a UFO guy, I'm not a ufologist. I never have been, I never will be. I'm a counterterrorism and counterespionage guy. I just do counterintelligence, counterinsurgencies. That's what I do. And it just so happens that in 2008, I was asked to apply those same skill sets into the UFO community. Basically, it's five times that, you know. So we just keep doing. And if you guys want to chime in, you're more than welcome to join the show. But like I just said, we'll just keep it going. And whatever happens, happens. Hey, the UFO man's here. Beats and tapes. Yoga with Denise. Gondral. Sky Allen. Sean. What's up, everybody? Yeah, I appreciate this. I'm having a roundtable show tonight with myself. Hey, how you doing? Hey, forget about it, all right? I don't want to say a word. Nah, you're going to talk because I need you tonight. I'm telling you, you're going to say something. What do you want me to say? Whatever you want. Can I be the chicken? Go, oh, stop it. Stop shaking. You're going to speak. Stop it. What's the matter with you? Oh, your neck isn't back on. Let me get your sister. You sit. Now, she's got her cloaking device on, so not much I could do. Sorry. You ready? <coughs> All right. Chicky 2 is ready for you. So, Chicky, <coughs> what do you think is going on? with ufology right now. It's okay. They, you can use your real voice. No, no, no. Use your regular voice. It's okay. They're family. It's okay. Okay. Oh, thank you. I just want to say hello to everybody. Thank you. Chicky, too. You have been part of this show for a while. So I need you to do me a favor. Tell me what you think is going on in ufology. It's a psyop. Everything is a psyop. Disinfo, right? Yep. Disinfo, oh! Sorry, I tooted. And we got people that don't know what they're doing. I know, I say it all the time. They're lying. Lying. Cheating. Cheating. And everything else that they're doing, I don't like it. I don't like that they're grifting. And I don't make them grifting. Calm down. Calm down. I'm not excited. I can't stop thinking. I know. I know it's a problem we all have in this world with ufology. It's just ridiculous. Why do they have to lie to us? Because they're trying to protect us, Chicky. Oh, thank you. I know. They're trying to protect us, and, and what they want to do is 
use their technology for weapons? Yes, and also when we need it. Why don't you go lay down? You're a little too excited for me. You're going to fix your neck. It's coming off. I don't want to put too much pressure on the kid, but the kid's right. Everybody's doing stuff out there. Everybody's making up stuff, stories. They want to be the next person. They want to have the next best story. That's why they hold on to these things. They try to get a feeling for what people are going to say or do. Or, oh, James Fox has got a great video. I can't wait to spend $20 to find out it's nothing. You know, oh, Jeremy Corbell's going to post something fantastic tomorrow. I can't wait. Oh, I might as well have uh, not watched it at all. It's nothing. It's more bull crap from him. Oh, we've got a good one. Greer's coming out with, no, Greer never has evidence true richard don't don't even go there dolan <laughs> dirty dolan dick dirty dick dolan doing the dirty do next i think i need to play this because it's time because it's time i need to Get us back to feeling good. And the only thing that makes me feel good nowadays are funny animal videos. Where's the catnip? <laughs> You're adopted. Hey. Hello. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? That's... <laughs> I love this one. Watch the end of that. <laughs> I watched half of it. Oh my god, I can't believe what that cat just said. Did you see the kids' reactions? <laughs> they got a racist cat. That's a got a racist cat. That was unbelievable. Now that was cute. That was cute. That made me laugh. <laughs> cats are funny. I love cats. They talk. Well, I like when they, see, like my cats, they would see lizards or the little birds, like we have, you know, the cardinals. And anytime they'd see one, it would, you know, they vibrate. And I'd be like, what is that, Maui? Got a cat named Maui, Bosco. Seven. Seven was a good cat. Girlfriends, my ex-girlfriend took that cat and I kept Bosco, the boy. Seven was the most loving cat you would ever meet. Um, and her boyfriend killed it. I almost drove to Texas to kill that guy who killed my cat. But he left her and got out of town before that's that. I still will find you and take your ass out. When you least expect it, you're going to scream, but not shout. So I want to show you the Matrix is real. How is this possible? I'm going to let you watch it before I say anything. And then I'm going to ask you a question. And you're going to answer it with a question. Ready? Five, four, what type of glitch is this to? On X or Twitter. It had already showed 
the goal scored. It already, it showed they scored before it happened. It was already on Twitter. They're at the game. And the goal came after it was announced. How's that possible? Let me tell you, it's a, it's got to be a prank. It's got to be. But it isn't. Because then you're thinking, oh, they recorded it and then played it back. But how would they know that was going to happen? They didn't know. It's kind of weird. How did it, how did the news break on Twitter before it happened live? How? They were there at the live event. But Twitter said, oh, it's now one nothing." I don't know. I don't know. What did you guys think was going to happen tonight? I wasn't going to do a show if nobody called in. You think I was just going to quit? I'm not taking callers anymore. I'm not taking anybody. That is over. You guys failed me. Terrible. Just terrible. That's okay. It's all on you. I didn't do it. You're the ones who don't want to follow rules or talk about anything. Don't ask. Don't ask me to do these shows anymore if you're not going to be coming on. I had two people ask me. I'll be there. You you get that show going. I'll be on it. Here it is, and you're not here. So I probably won't be doing these anymore because we got to – how can you not have anybody show up when you got over 100 people here? It just doesn't make sense. But that's okay. You guys get what you want. And um, – Maybe that's it for tonight. That's it. All right. You guys have a great night. Happy Easter. And alien blood.